tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking. Right, first I'm going to open preferences and go to the record warp launch section and in the record session automation inbox I'll select arm tracks and next I'll open the ins and out section and select xed in and just hide it again so there's more screen space and because I selected arm tracks in the record session automation inbox then I need to record arm the track to be able to record any modulation into a clip and then switch on the automation arm button and the session record button and check the audio clip is warped and looped for continuous playback and then launch the clip here i move the frequency parameter and its movements will be recorded into the clip as an envelope and as the audio loops it'll overwrite the previously recorded envelope Right, here's another one bar loop. And in the loop linked box, it's possible to unlink envelope regions so that their length differs from the length of the audio or the MIDI file. So here I'll unlink the phalanges delay time parameter and set the envelope region to four bars. And the sample length remains the same, but the envelope region is four bars long, meaning that a parameter's movements can be recorded over a period of four bars instead of one. Tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking, tricking us into thinking. Okay, the unlink box doesn't unlink the envelope regions for all of the device's parameters. If you want to unlink another parameter's envelope region, then click on the device parameter to access it in the sample editor view or select it from the chooser menu. Okay, now I'll go back into preferences and change the record session automation in option to all tracks. So now a track doesn't have to be record armed to be able to record clip envelopes. The automation arm button and session record button still need to be activated, but now parameter changes will be recorded to any clip that's playing in any track. The thought arms that the thought arms that the thought that the narrative of thought that the thought arms that the thought arms that the thought arms if you click and hold a clip and press tab to switch from the session view and drop it into the corresponding track in the arrangement view then as long as the lock envelope button is deactivated the clips envelope will be written into the arrangement as track automation and the appearance of the arrow to the right of the track display and also the tracks grayed out color indicates that the audio was just playing from the session view which means i need to click on it to be able to hear the audio from the arrangement that the thought arms if multiple clips were playing in the session view, then click in the global back to arrangement button enables all of the content of the arrangement for playback. The to record automation in the arrangement view, activate the arrangement record button and the automation arm button. And I'll just loop the clip and record the automation from the frequency shifter and as in the session view when recording in a loop the previous automation will be written over as the audio repeats is who we are okay now just right click in the track title bar and clear the automation in the arrangement view the loop and link button doesn't work, so just duplicate the clip to record longer periods of automation. Is who we are? Is who we are? Is who we are? 
is select all clips, click, hold and press tab to change the view and drop the clips into the corresponding track in the session view. And now the clips separate into different clip slots and the automation from the arrangement is written into the clips envelope regions. Okay, I'll launch a clip which has an envelope already recorded into it and the little orange square on the frequency parameter indicates this. That the narrative of thought. And then I'll the change the frequency with my mouse. So to be clear, I haven't recorded a new clip envelope. The automation arm and session record buttons are off and all I've done is adjusted the position of the frequency so that it differs from the clip envelope and overrides it. And this is indicated by the orange square next to the frequency parameter changing color and the re-enable automation button lighting up. So to restore the clips envelope settings, either click on the re-enable automation button or just relaunch the clip. That the narrative of thought, that the narrative of thought. Okay, so I'll duplicate the clip, right click on it, select delete envelopes and then launch it. That the narrative and again, I'll move the frequency the parameter. So this time the re-enable automation button doesn't light up because adjusting the frequency hasn't affected the envelope in the other clip. And I'll launch the other clip again and it'll play the envelope settings as before. Okay, I'll just reset the frequency parameter back to zero and drag the two clips over to the arrangement. Click on the tracks back to arrangement button so that the playback from the arrangement is enabled. That the narrative and the first clip's envelope modulation is written as track automation. And the as the second clip doesn't contain any envelope modulation, then no automation changes are written to the track. I'll play the clips again and adjust the frequency. And as before, I'm not recording the automation. So any manual change to an automated parameter will cause the re-enable automation button to light up and will also be indicated by a change in color to the track automation and to the square next to the automated parameter. So this time the adjustment I made to the frequency will affect both clips and pressing the re-enable automation button will restore the settings so the track automation will play as before. That the narrative of thought that the narrative of thought